Live from the Mile High City, it's time for the DBL Dating Game. And now, here he is, the host with the most, Todd Newton. Oh, thank you very much, wonderful studio audience. And thanks to you at home, welcome to the DBL Dating Game. I tell you what, we have three lovely DBL viewers who are looking for love with our Super Bowl champ, Brandon London. Would you like to meet him? Let's meet these ladies. Ladies, I want to welcome you. Bachelorette number one is a flight attendant from the great city of Houston, Texas. Can this jet setter book a one way ticket to Brandon's heart? Let's say hello to Courtney. <laughs> Bachelorette number two is an Atlanta native. She's working on her fourth college degree. But the question is, can this Georgia peach pass Brandon's test of love? I'd like you all to meet <laughs> D. D. Good luck. <laughs> Bachelorette number three is not afraid to get down and dirty when she's playing semi pro tackle football. That is she's ready to score Brandon's affection from Colorado Springs. Let's welcome Linda Linda. Hello. <laughs> now you know we truly could not ask for a better bunch of bachelorettes and to prevent Brandon from hearing anything about our three ladies. He's been isolated in a soundproof room. Would you please help me welcome Brandon London. Here he comes. All right, my friend. Good to see you. Brandon, have a seat. There are your questions. Get nice and comfortable. You look great. Thank you, man. I feel great right now. Now, Brandon, I know we've been looking forward to this day for a long time, yeah. and those three ladies are right on the other right side there. of that wall. That's right. I can feel your energy, ladies. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I feel love. Well, we're going to capitalize on that energy and have the ladies say hello to Brandon. Bachelorette number one, go ahead. Say hi. Hey, Brandon. I love to dance. I love to travel. So if you pick me, I'll take you to places you've never seen. Ooh. Ooh. Bachelorette number two, say hello. Hey, Brandon. If you like beauty and brains, then this Georgia peach is the girl for you. I love peaches. Yeah, and bachelorette number three, go ahead and say hello to Brandon. Hey, what's up, Brandon? I bet you've never been on a date with somebody that can take you on the football field. Ooh, <laughs> feisty. <laughs> Girl, okay. <Yeah. laughs> well, Brandon has prepared some questions for each of the bachelorettes, and based on their answers, he will choose his date. Here we go. Bachelorette number two, if you were a style of music, what would you sound like and why? If I was a style of music, I would be 90s R&B, a little bit of soul, and a whole lot of sexual healing. Oh. oh. <laughs> when I get that Stay feeling, seated, stay seated. Sexual healing. Bachelorette number two, he almost stood up for that one. He almost stood up. <laughs> All right, bachelorette number three, which one word best describes you and why? Boss lady, hyphenated. I am 5'6", weigh 130 pounds, and I play semi-pro tackle football. Ooh. Hey, there we go. And nobody go. can tell me no. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, bachelorette number one. What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? What happened was I actually was on a gas stove, and I put olive oil in the pan, and it, like, shot up, and it didn't help that I had a roll of paper towels sitting right next to the burner, and so it caught whiff of the paper towels. So I panicked. I stopped, dropped, and rolled, and I was not even on fire. I just panicked. I was like, oh, no. Okay, <laughs> all right, can't wait for part two. <laughs> I, I can't wait till your book comes out. <laughs> Wow. Ladies, I will have to remind you to limit your answers to seven minutes in length. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Bachelorette number one, if there were 25 hours in the day, what would you do with the extra hour? If I had an extra hour in the day since I am like have to be serious at work, I would take that extra hour to just enjoy life. I love to dance, so I'll probably be home listening to some New Orleans second line, same old two-step. I may even be backing it up, listening to Cash Money Records taking over from the... For the 99 or 2000. Yes, yes. Already, I mean, complete sentences. Uh, <laughs> all right, bachelorette number two. Uh, if I play hard to get, how would you chase me? Well, initially, I don't chase men. I like for them to chase me because I love a man that goes for what he wants. Mm. However, I did fly across country for you, so there you go. Oh. <laughs> He's 
answers. Yeah, that's some great answers. Bachelorette number three, if your kisses were an ice cream flavor. Oh, 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 oh that sound means we're out of time. Oh. No more goodies. <laughs> no more goodies today. <laughs> now, our friend Brandon's got a lot to think about. A lot. We've learned a lot about these ladies. Will it be Bachelorette number one? Will it be Bachelorette number two? Or will it be Bachelorette number three? While Brandon thinks it over, we are going to take a short break and we'll be right back with more of DBL Dating Game right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to the DBL Dating Game. Here's your host, Todd Newton. Boy, oh boy, did we learn a lot. Yes, we did. What An a, exciting what you, day so far. Eventful, exciting. It's everything I thought it was going to be so far. Well, it's going to be a tough decision, yeah. but a decision that our friend Brandon must now make. We have three bachelorettes right over there who want to win a date with you, big man. Will it be bachelorette number one? Bachelorette number two or Bachelorette number three. Brandon, which Bachelorette will it be? Bachelorette number two is amazing. I mean, she had me at hello. She knew I love beauty, peaches, and most importantly, brains. Uh, bachelorette number three, she's amazing. I love her, uh, her energy. Bachelorette number one, ooh, girl. Uh, <laughs> that's all I can say, ooh, girl. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with Bachelorette number one. It must have been the woo girl. Yeah. I mean, what, what was it about Bachelorette number one that made her stand out? Because you had three fantastic ladies. Fantastic. Honestly, it was the embarrassing, long embarrassing story <laughs> I got. I mean, just if you can, you can have fun with yourself like that, then I think that we'd get along great. Plus, I can hear the sass in her voice, yeah. you know, so, you know, I know <laughs> sure. I'm looking forward to uh, meeting her. Well, good. Well, before we meet her, let's meet the two ladies that uh, Brandon did not choose. First, she is the smart Georgia Peach who's working on her fourth college Ooh. degree. Please welcome Dee. Dee, come on out here. Say hello to Brandon. Fourth college degree. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dee. Great, great looking dress. Wow. And bachelorette number three. She's our semi-pro football player, a local lady from here in Colorado Springs. Linda, come on out and say hello to Brandon. Linda. Boss babe. Wait, 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 wait. You really think you can take me with the football? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she's. Woo, that, that was. Been, yeah. That would have been interesting. <laughs> Brandon, here is the bachelorette you chose. She's the flight attendant from Houston, Texas. Her name is Courtney. Please come say hello to Brandon. Here we go. <laughs> This color looks amazing on you. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Well, first impressions, what do you think? Uh, I think she's absolutely beautiful. Um, I love what she's Thank wearing. You. She looks sexy and elegant at the same time. And I love that hair. I love your hair. Now, <laughs> did you have any idea that you were the lady he was going to choose once he said, ooh, girl? You know, honestly, I did not know because, you know, we bonded over there. We were like sister wives, but mm -hmm. then he had some good options. Sister wives. <laughs> uh, no, different show. No. Different show. Thank All you. right, well, we're excited for you because this lovely couple that you see right here is heading to beautiful Vail, Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> All the temperatures they will drop, but these two are going to find a way to stay warm. Make sure you tune in on Tuesday, November 20th. You'll see it all happen. All right, congratulations, you two. And in dating game tradition, let's seal this date with a kiss, shall we? Here we go. Bye-bye, uh, everybody. <laughs>